Hi well, folks, it's Kieran here. Today's video, I am at Market Arbor Skate Park and it is very damp, but I think this is gonna as good as it is gonna get because it's December and it hasn't stopped raining. Um, and today we're gonna work on the Nolly Frontside 180. Because of the peculiar naming convention that seems to only work with Nolly and nothing else, the Nolly Frontside 180 actually feels like uh, a backside 180. So I'm gonna be turning inwards, my backside out, my back outside like you would for any other backside trick basically it's a really weird awkward feeling trick um, it's one I've kicked around in the past never had much success with I had plans to come down and work a bit more on the nollie big spins but the ground is far too slick for a trick which involves that much sliding and spinning around um, I don't want to hurt myself before I go to work this evening so yeah um, like I said I've, I've kicked this one around before without much success um, Graham from skateboarding with your da he's got an excellent one so uh, I'll leave a link down in the description to Jet Graham's channel. Go and check him out because he does these tricks really nicely. So I'm going to try and all my inner uh, Scotsman today and see if I can um, see if I can pull one of these out. Yeah. Something that was a nolly and that went front side is backside. Um, and we did end up rolling kind of backwards. Not sure if I'm going to go as far as say I count it, but it's definitely progress. Um, yeah, very weird. Um, what I found the big difference was, let me put the camera down, is I shifted my front foot instead of having it right up on the tip of the nose just shifted it sort of down closer to this pocket so that when I popped and scooped it it couldn't like slip off or anything like that that seemed to make a big difference and we were able to get it round really not sure how I feel about that one I'll feel better worse whatever when I get a chance to watch it back on a bigger screen but um yeah it's definitely progress let's crack on try and do a few more I've probably got I don't know 15 20 minutes I haven't got loads of time today um, so let's just keep plowing on, see if we can get a few more. Hopefully we'll get one that feels really good and we can sort of confidently say we've got it. But if all we get is a few more like that, it's definitely progress in the right direction. really good um, it felt like how my back 180s felt when I first learned how to do them which was ages ago it's the first video on the channel link in the description below if you want to check it out um, but yeah it felt good I could definitely feel that I popped up and rotated round and obviously it was rolling away fake at the end which is good so I'm gonna try and get three more of those before I leave then we've got one definite one maybe and hopefully three more for certain give us five um, I've got a little bit of time left so 
yeah what i'll do as always i'll just crack on any extra ones that i land from here on in i'll just leave them in the edit just those ones i'm not gonna leave all the extra attempts in after this one just to keep the video nice and short and compact but i am stoked i've been been wanting to get this trick for a while to so finally get one and get one that I'm, i feel good about is awesome so yeah right let's see if we make it true at least <laughs> I landed a bunch more tricks where I use my nose to scoop me around front side 180 in nollie stance, it's back side in every other stance, really frustrating, and, uh, and rolled away fakey. So um, some of them felt good, felt like that second one that I got that I was really confident with. Most of them felt really weird, just like I scooped it around. Um, I remember though, like my back eight 180s sometimes still feel like that. So. Once I get a chance to go home, check the footage, and um, we'll see how many of them I would really count. But I am stoked to have made a bunch of progress. You saw I was trying to do them a little bit quicker, going a bit quicker at the end. And um, I think this is one of these tricks that going a little bit faster is going to help me with getting it around. Um, that was definitely the case with the back 180 when I was learning that. I tried doing it like really, really slowly, and then it kind of just becomes much more difficult. You really have to get the whole rotation. Whereas when you're going a bit faster, you can almost like get a good chunk of the rotation and that momentum will just pull you the rest of the way around. So definitely something to bear in mind if you're trying this trick yourself. Like I said, I'm pretty confident with the progress I made. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that yeah, I am the way I define learning tricks, I learned that trick today, but clearly it needs a lot of work. Um, the next thing is obviously to take it to a bank because where else would I take that trick or any of my tricks? But yeah, stoked we've got that one and that obviously opens up the door potentially for a switch back 180 because it's the same trick, just popping off your tail rather than your nose or with your other foot. I know what I mean, hopefully you guys do too. But yeah, huge thank you for watching. I really, 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 really appreciate everyone who does. Everyone who takes the time out to watch the videos, comment down below, leave a like, all that. You guys, you're all legends. So yeah, huge thank you. Don't forget to go and check out Skateboarding With Your Dad. Um, give Graham some love as well because it's watching him do this trick that made me really want to go out there and, and get it done so cheers Graham you're a legend and if you're new to my channel why not consider hitting subscribe and also go subscribe to Graham's channel while you're at it um, just be good all round folks I've waffled for ages on this intro that's enough take care guys